In 2010, Christchurch, New Zealand got hit hard by a huge earthquake with a magnitude of 7.1, quickly followed by another big one at 6.3. These quakes wiped out 80% of the city. But that wasn't the end for Christchurch. In today's video, we'll see how the brave people there didn't give up. They pushed through to rebuild almost the entire city from scratch. Christchurch showed an incredible spirit. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more insightful videos. New Zealand is no stranger to earthquakes, with around 14,000 shaking the country each year, though most are small. But having two big quakes hit so close together was something no one saw coming. Christchurch saw its population drop by 13% as many were forced to leave their homes following the 2010 earthquake. These disasters are now known as the most costly natural disasters in New Zealand's history, with the price tag for rebuilding reaching a staggering 42 billion US dollars. A key loss was the 19th century Christchurch Cathedral, which was considered a true symbol of the city and one of New Zealand's most visited sites. The cathedral attracts twice as many visitors as the local population each year. To those outside, and even to many locals, the cathedral might not have looked like much compared to other flashy landmarks, but its true value was felt deeply when it was gone. It wasn't the tallest or the most extravagant, but it was the heart of Christchurch, and just mentioning the city would bring to mind this very cathedral. The earthquake completely destroyed the cathedral's spire and much of the upper tower, causing significant damage to the front of the building, including the western porch and nearby walls. The ruin of this cherished building became a symbol of the city's own losses and had a profound impact on the people of New Zealand. It was estimated at the time that rebuilding the cathedral would cost at least 30 million US dollars, a sum that insurance wouldn't completely cover. By March 2012, the decision was made to demolish the old church and replace it with a new one. This showed larger challenges in Christchurch about what to rebuild, how to keep the city's charm, and how to manage quick rebuilding on a tight budget. The whole city needed a huge rebuild. The central business district was shut down for two years and shipping containers were brought in for stores to use temporarily. The city's infrastructure needed a major update, with over 700 projects, including replacing 600 kilometres of sewer pipes, 100 kilometres of water pipes, more than 1.3 million square metres of roads and 144 bridges. Many heritage buildings were torn down, which made it feel like the city was losing its identity. The choice not to rebuild the original cathedral caused a lot of arguments. There was a lot of backlash. People started protesting and it sparked intense debates about the significance of the cathedral, which had become more than just a place of worship. Groups pushing to save the cathedral successfully stopped its demolition in 2012. It took until September 2017, however, for the Anglican Synod to agree to rebuild it, with financial backing from the government and a trust. By then, the projected cost for the rebuild had jumped to $91 million. In October 2020, the new design for the cathedral was unveiled. It aims to bring back the building's original look while adding modern safety features and facilities. The damaged bell tower would be torn down to make room for a new one that looked almost the same but included base isolation technology to improve earthquake resistance. This tech involves using flexible bearings or rubber pads between the building's foundation and its structure, helping it absorb shocks from seismic activity. Since the tower had almost totally collapsed, architects had to use old drawings and photos to guide the rebuild. The remaining parts of the structure needed to be stabilised before the construction could begin. It was a complex eight-stage process that gradually reinforced each facade, blending temporary and permanent enhancements. A particularly tough task was installing screw piles 18 metres deep near parts of the building that partially collapsed. 
It was a job that required precise and careful work to ensure the building's stability and safety. Before starting the reconstruction, the project team gathered a wealth of information about the cathedral, including its history, construction specifics, ground conditions, previous restoration work, and the complete extent of damage caused by the earthquakes. They set up large steel frames around the building to ensure safety during work on the interior. These acted like an exoskeleton, supporting weakened structures, and some of these steel supports have now become permanent features to ensure ongoing stability. These temporary structures had to adhere to very high safety standards given the possibility of more earthquakes during construction. The team also used drones to create a three-dimensional model of the building, sending out millions of laser beams to generate a detailed map of the existing structure. Drones were essential for taking high-resolution photos and video scans of interior areas too risky for people to enter. Reconstructing the cathedral involved carefully removing and cataloguing numerous stones. Each stone was meticulously labelled and temporarily taken out to aid stabilisation efforts. Stones that were suitable for reuse were catalogued and stored, ready to be reinserted into the rebuilt structure. The Christchurch Cathedral was finished in 2023 and is on its way to being fully restored by 2028. As the new cathedral starts to stand out on the Christchurch skyline, it's become more than just a building. Even though there's a lot more work to do, the cathedral has already become a key symbol of the city's ability to bounce back and the strong will of its people. The first time people walked back into the cathedral, it was an emotional moment, and many were told to be ready for the strong feelings they might have. Rebuilding Christchurch has been a long and expensive process, with a lot of difficulties along the way. But just as the cathedral is being put back together piece by piece, so is the city. In 2014, just two years after the earthquakes, the New York Times listed Christchurch as one of the top places to visit in the world. This wasn't because everything was fixed up already, but because of the incredible spirit of its people. Back then, shops were still working out of temporary shipping containers and lots of places were still fixing up. Despite all the challenges, Christchurch resiliency makes it a special place proving that it might not be the luckiest city, but it's definitely one of the toughest. Thanks again for joining us, and be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Megabuilds for more awe-inspiring projects around the world.